CBS News Detroit at 11 begins with breaking news. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Shayna Humphreys. A man is dead after he was hit by a train tonight. It happened near 13 Mile and Grossbeck Highway. CBS News Detroit's Terrell Bailey is live at the scene. What can you tell us right now, Terrell? Yeah, hey there. Good evening, Shayna. You're right. We've got a developing situation coming out of Frazier. One person is dead after being hit by a train. As you just mentioned, I'm along a 13 mile road. Frazier authorities did tell us a man got stuck on the tracks and the train ended up hitting him. I did have a chance to talk to someone who owns a business nearby. He told me that his family actually heard the crash around 730 this evening. Now it's unclear where the person was and whether or not they were in a car, but it definitely caused some delays out here. 13 mile from Kendall to Grossbeck recently reopened. Literally, the train pulled off momentarily before you all came out to me for this live shot. Just having a look at that, uh, that train, it did, I did notice that it had an array of materials on it. One rail car said hydraulic chloric acid, while another said liquefied petroleum gas. Now, we were told the man's body is with the medical examiner's office at this time. We haven't got a name on that unidentified person, but of course this incident is still under investigation. Like I said, minutes ago that train did successfully pull away heading that direction. Of course, CBS News Detroit will continue asking questions, getting answers pertaining to this situation. But for now, Shana, we're live in Frazier tonight. Terrell Bailey, CBS News, Detroit. All right, more to come there. Thanks, Terrell.